Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so, so much for joining me. So today we are trying the new eyeshadow palettes from Lisa Eldridge. These were very kindly gifted to me. I have three of them to try. Um, I also ordered all the other ones and some brushes, but I can't wait for them. I just want to try these now and we're going to have a go. I have watched um, the kind of announcement video from Lisa Eldridge using these palettes. And let me tell you, when I saw some of the textures in these eyeshadow palettes, mouth watering. They looked beautiful. Some of them looked more like... Um, cream why i can never sit central to these things they just look so smooth and like buttery and really really beautiful i can't i can't wait to try them out oh god my eyes i put a lot of eye cream on today so that is what we are going to do along with some other lisa eldridge bits which i have probably shown you throughout um, my videos anyway just before we get into that today if this is your first time here hi welcome my name is robert i'm a professional makeup artist here on youtube also in real life it's my goal to help you become a pro yourself or just someone who's really good at makeup, so if that sounds like something you are interested in, then do consider subscribing. I'm in a very good mood today. It is pouring down with rain outside, It's which is my ideal weather. It's cold, it's windy, it's beautiful. And also anyone who's a Disney Park fan, um, Bob Chapek has left the business, Bob Iger's back in charge. <laughs> There is good news everywhere. I got a pair of sunglasses that was meant to arrive in February. It came today. Today's my day. <laughs> so I have three palettes here. The first one I have, I have already swatched some of them. I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. I saw the textures and I was like, let me get my finger right in that. You'll see which ones I've done. These two here. This is sorcery. So there's a few different finishes in this. We have metallics and then like this one here. And then we have the luminous duo, which is, oh like so, and then we also have, you'll see which one I'm gonna use. <laughs> Surprise, Myth, which is this beautiful collection of purple tones, some grayer kind of undertones there as well. And then we also have Cinnabar, which is this really nice neutral tones. There was a few different kind of textures within these palettes, which I'll quickly just run through with you now, because that's what really stood out mostly in these palettes for me, is the different textures, the different finishes, and also the, um, this is why I think it's so important to watch like a launch video of a product, because the inspiration behind these palettes made sense. They were thought through incredibly well, and that's what I love about brands, is when they have you know, I'm, I'm kind of tired of brands just releasing anything without like a, a theory behind it. And like, this is why I've made it these tones. This is why I made it these textures. This is why, you know, for example, you can pop out the shades in here, mix them all around and make it your own. The description of these palettes on line five ultra chic and playful eyeshadow palettes housed in a beautiful, bespoke, slim and elegant compacts. I read that wrong. Each one contains a curation of six totally harmonious and complementary shades in my own unique, easy to blend, micro plastic and talc free, high performance formulas. There was this information here as well. So let me just explain the different finishes within this palette. You have a seamless matte, which is a soft matte texture with a hint of luminosity and practically blends itself. Ooh. Velvet, a super creamy matte powder paint that gives a skin smoothing finish with even coverage. Metallic, which is a rich, even and smooth shadow with consistently sized, dense metallic pearls for the most seamless and creamy molten payoff. Luster, the densely packed, smooth and extra small pearls gives this texture a luscious pearly finish. Luminous, a medium payoff, semi-transparent base that gives a light bay of color for glossy lid effect. And then we have a top coat that's multicolored, sparkling pearl suspended in a transparent base. I absolutely love these kind of top coat um, finishes as well because it's almost like you can have whatever color you want and then add something a little bit different. Day to night like that, imagine brown and then you put like a, um, for daytime and you put like a purpley top coat on top. Okay, beautiful. I already have my eyeshadow primer on, which is of course my favorite, the Sigma eyeshadow primer in Ignite, which is just like this. Okay, let's get into it. Let's do something. Um, hmm. We are gonna do a black on the whole lid with this. Can you see it on camera? It's this beautiful pinky. I might have to film it on my phone because my lights kind of wash things out a little bit. It has this like pink, it, it looks so good, this pink shift. So this will be one of the top coats because it has that little shift to it. So this was the finish that was smoothing and you can absolutely see how smooth that's going on. God, it really does smooth out that skin. Look, look how smooth and soft it looks. Wow. 
<laughs> you want to give me this and some flesh tones? For under the eyes, can you imagine? Very soft, very easy to blend. Don't really need to do anything, beautiful. I've got a spot right there, look how annoying. And I'm not one of those people that don't pop a spot when it comes up. I'm getting right in there, bursting that thing. <laughs> Love it. So smooth, so soft, so easy to blend. Took me seconds. Let's add <laughs> a little bit of purple. So here's my idea. Black on the whole lid, purple like just gently coming out of the black and then into this beautiful gray. So let's go with violet stone. And that is velvet also. So that nice, smoothing, super blendable texture. I moved my microphone because I noticed when I was editing that I would hold up my mirror right in front of the microphone and you could hear like muffle, it was, it was talking like this. So I've moved it above me. So hopefully it's still okay. I did test it and it seemed fine. Blends incredibly well. Look how easy that was. Can you see, just, that isn't even like blended. I literally just went backwards and forwards a few times and it's so beautifully blended with the other shade. Love it. See, this is why, this is why it's a good idea when makeup artists release their own brands, because like, you know exactly what they're looking for. You know exactly, they know exactly what they're looking for, exactly what they need, exactly what's missing from their kit, what they've used on people, what textures are needed, you know? It blends so easy. If you, if you are terrible at blending eyeshadow, I really don't think you're gonna have an issue with this. I haven't even sat here and took time blending it. This is just literally backwards and forwards. And look how much it has just almost like blended itself into the gray. Love it. Love it. Okay, let's go into Nocturama. Oh, this is velvet too, okay. And I'm gonna use a little bit of a stubbier brush just to really push that color onto the lid. That is deep, okay, cool. Now I'm gonna go back in with a brush we were using before and just gently kind of Buff that only through the socket for now. And then let's go back into this deeper purple and use, oh, and use that to kind of transition through. Let's see if you have a lid and then we'll crack on with that purple. No fallout for those of you who care about that. <laughs> you know I don't really care about fallout, but I know some people do. Now I'm just using that purple to buff through and get this nice fade and I'm going in with a bigger brush and just buffing that out a little bit more. I'm gonna take a finger and I'm gonna go in with Illusionism, which is, oh, you really can't see it, but you'll see it when it's on the lid. It's this beautiful, like, pearly, like, pink shimmer shift. I just want more, I want more, 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 more. I'm also gonna take that shade in here. Not really a shade, that little topper. Right in that inside corner just to get a really good shine. So a nice glow. I'm just gonna switch out my brush because I don't wanna get black on this color. I just want it to stay how it is. Okay, let me just work on some concealer quickly. Okay, so I've got a bit of concealer on. Let's go back into our palette. Where has it gone? And let's go into, I've made such a mess. Let's go into this shade here, which, so it survived my drop test. <laughs> um, so we're going to Victorian Trim, which is another velvet shade. And I wanna take that under the eye and maybe buff it a little bit out here. I don't know, I'm just kind of putting in color wherever I see fit. Very, like, I didn't even, like, it looks blended underneath already. I know I'm doing it. I know I'm doing is dragging it across the eye. It really is incredible. I'm gonna soften it up a tiny bit. And gently put my brush across. Go back into a Violet Stone, which is that purple. And let's just tap that along the outside edge here. So let's 
do I, is it gonna ruin it? No, let's do it, fuck it. Let's go back in with our um, top coat in Illusionism. And I just wanna take that across that Victorian, Victorian trim? Victorian trim shade. Cause I can see it just in there, it looks really nice when I blended it on top. So I just wanna do a little top coat of Victorian trim. Just so you get that occasional like flash. And then I'm literally going to go on with whatever's left on my brush. Just gonna gently blend that on top. Okay, so let me do my foundation and let's um, kind of just have a summary, just while I'm doing this. You all know I love Lisa Eldridge as a brand, as a makeup artist, as a professional. And most of the Lisa Eldridge products were foundation, the highlighters, the lipsticks have become like a part of my everyday, I say everyday, but I only really wear, wear makeup when I go to like events and stuff like that, um, makeup routine because they're reliable. I know I can trust them. I know I can rely on the foundation to sit on my skin for a longer time. Um, I can trust the highlight to just look like highlight and not look like, you know, glitter or shimmer when a camera flashes or, or when I have a picture with someone, it doesn't look like glitter or shimmer, it just looks like highlight. My skin looks like my skin. It is most definitely a brand you can trust. And I think, as I mentioned earlier, I love using brands that come from makeup artists, whether they're like a makeup artist who's become an influencer or like, you know, a professional makeup artist. I love using their brands because there's, there's thought behind it. It is refreshing and um, unique and inspiring to see somebody talk about a palette that isn't just like, I chose these colors because I love the color purple, which is a great film. Um, and you know, or things like that. It's it's nice to see some thought behind the technicality of the palette, the um, the shades, the shade range, knowing that somebody can buy one or two palettes and interchange the shades and, and make it more personal to them as well. I do feel like the, the shade range in the palettes reaches everybody. Um, there's, there's a palette that you can look at. I, for example, I can look at the palettes and I know I can use this one for something a little bit more dramatic. There's a neutral tone, which I know I can use just for the mattes to even just sculpt my eyes. There's a palette there, which I know I can give my mum. There's a palette there, which I know I can give, you know, like someone who is an 18 year old. There's something there for everyone. And I think that's what's great about texture as well, is you saw how easy those textures blended. You don't have to be like the world's best makeup artist to be able to use this. One thing I say a lot as well through my eyeshadow tutorials or my eyeshadow reviews is if you make a crappy eyeshadow, let's be real. If you make a crappy eyeshadow as a brand, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? It is so easy. Easy is probably the wrong word. Actually, I'll tell you when it's easy, right? There are brands on like AliExpress and you know, brands that just ColourPop, for example, that make these eyeshadows that they chop out every month, every week, that make really, really good eyeshadows that work. They just work. So if you are making an eyeshadow palette that doesn't work, I don't f really feel like there's an excuse. <laughs> Eyeshadows should be good. Sorry, I'm, I keep trying to say something and I need to keep stopping. Let me finish up and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I just waxed on some lashes. There's a little bit of glue drying up here, but um, I'm not just gonna sit here in silence and wait for the glue to dry, I'm just gonna talk. So we do have loads of eyeshadow palettes that, that work and, and um, are really good eyeshadows, but looking at the release of this, the inspiration video, the release video, and to, and the, the formulas and the textures and the reasoning for them, you can tell just from that, and now more so from actually using these products, these eyeshadows, that this is, of course, where's my palette? More than just our regular eyeshadows that we've been given and, and um, that are launching every month or every week in some cases. These have in-depth thought into them. They have reasoning. The textures have reasoning. The textures have benefit. Even the compact itself, if it's like interchangeable colors and shades also have 
good reasoning behind it. Absolutely stunning. I am so, so incredibly impressed. Why would we not be from a product from Lisa Eldridge, a professional makeup artist who knows what's needed and what's actually useful within, you know, the makeup world. And you know me, when I love an eyeshadow palette, it's because I've loved using it. It could be the cheapest. It could be the most expensive. I, if I have enjoyed using that palette, it's given me no grief, then I, I would recommend it. I recommend Lisa Eldridge as a brand anyway. P there's pieces that I absolutely adore from this brand. Even more so now, I now can't wait to use the other eyeshadow palettes. Stunning, love it. I will leave links below for you to check it out. But these are absolutely top of my list for eyeshadows. These are absolutely stunning. Thank you so much again for joining me. I I kind of want to take this off and try the green palette as well. Thank you so much. Give this video a thumbs up. Do consider subscribing. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>